This video is a remix of an old unreleased example from a trigonometric functions video I posted a few years ago. You know when your favorite band releases unreleased music? Like the stuff they wrote for your favorite album but chose not to include on the album only to release it a few years later? That's like me in this video. Except I'm not your favorite band. I'm just some random guy on YouTube who wants to help you with your math homework. And trigonometry isn't your favorite album. It's just some random math concept you're dealing with. Okay, so bad analogy. But I hope this video helps. What I'm going to show you how to do here is given a graph, we're going to write the equation for this trigonometric function. So the first thing I want to do is just pick out the fact that you can see the amplitude for this thing is 4, right? You can see that the distance from this equilibrium point to the max and the min happens to be 4. So that's going to be useful for us. The next thing we might as well look at is the period. You can see that it goes through one full cycle in 180 degrees. So that's going to help us come up with our k value for our equation. We know a periodic function has a period of 360 over k. We can solve for k by substituting in our new period of 180 degrees. And you'll see that you end up with 2 for your k value. The next thing we have to do, really, we have to decide if this is a cos or a sine graph. By assuming that we're starting at this point here, it works in our favor to consider this as a cosine graph. But what I'll do is I'll show you how to write a sine and cos for this graph, because remember that there is a relationship between sine and cos in that one is just a phase shift of the other. Let's focus on cos for a moment. We're just going to say the equation for this is definitely going to be y equals 4. That's going to be our amplitude. We're going to be working with cos. We've determined that the k value is 2. Now, if we picture what a cosine graph looks like, we know it starts at its max, goes through one full cycle, and ends at its max. You can see this graph has not been transformed left or right, and it has not been shifted up or down vertically. So we could really, we could just conclude that our equation is 4 cos 2x. Alternatively, if we looked at this as a sine graph, if we start right here, this could be our sine graph, right? Sine starts at 0. But this graph looks like it's starting in between 90 and 180 degrees. So we need some sort of phase shift here. So you can picture if I just sort of move this y-axis here, you would see that that would be a nice little sine graph with an amplitude of 4. The same period, right, our period would be 180 degrees. Our k value would also be 2. But in order to make this a sine graph, you can see that we'd have to shift over to the right by 135 degrees. That would be this point right here in between 90 and 180 degrees. Okay, so it's really your choice. There are really an infinite number of equations that you could write. I could also choose to start here if I chose sine, and I could call this a reflected sine graph instead of going upwards. This graph would be going downwards. My phase shift would only be 45 degrees if I chose to start at that point. There's really an infinite number of possibilities here.